Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will unbox and set up the OnePlus 7 Pro Almond Edition. And the one in front of me here has eight gig of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. And I have all of its friends with me as well, which is the Type-C Bullet earphones, which this one I believe plugs directly into the device through the USB Type-C port, as well as I have the 150 centimeter Type-C cable. And I also have the OnePlus Warp Charger 30 Power. And the only reason why I got all of these added accessories is to be completely honest, I have no idea what is inside of this box. I have not looked at any other videos of unboxings. And so really, I don't know if these are better than what's inside the box, or maybe I needed to get these anyways, but who cares? Let's open these up and let's first off do the bullet headphones. And so this one, I did take off the plastic and here is the inside, which actually always looks good with the never settle right there. And these are actually the bullet headphones that's right inside of here. I can actually feel them. Uh, and let's see here, best buds for life. And there's actually one more, ooh. They, OnePlus always has fantastic packaging. So what is inside of this little guy? This has to be, is it the adapter for the headphones? No, these are the little ear put or the ear plugs to change the sizes of what goes inside your ear. Now let's open this guy up here too. So let's go inside. I kind of wish this one was wireless, but that's okay, no worries. Yes, this one is plugged, and these were actually the little buds that I was feeling on the back, so these are pretty small. The very corner is gonna be the Type C, so we'll give these ones a test run a little bit later on. All right, let's open up this huge cable. So my hope is that even though these are probably included in the box, I'm hoping that with these being 150 centimeters, uh, which is approximately, uh, hey, Echo, how long is 150 centimeter in inches? 150 centimeters is 59 inches. 59 inches, which should be equivalent of four foot 11 inch. So this one I'm hoping is a little bit longer than what is inside of the box, but this looks good, it's cool, it's thin. All right, awesome. Now, let's check out the warp charger. And from my understanding, the OnePlus 7 Pro was stated online to charge in 20 minutes. So I don't know what 20 minutes means. I don't know if it means the full charge after 20 minutes or 20 minutes gives you half a charge. I don't know what it is, but 20 minutes, no matter what it results into, is probably gonna be pretty quick. Now, this is a huge block. Look at this block. It's big, it's beautiful, and it's a warp charger. 30, uh, which on the back over here, let's look at this really quick. Um, so it states that the output is five volts uh, equivalent of two amps or five volt six amps for warp charge 30. So it has the protection in there that if your phone was not able to, to capture that full warp charge, um, it's not gonna overpower and over circuit your device that you are charging. So here's all the accessories. Let's move it to the side and let's open up our device. First, let's get this plastic off of the device. Slip off the little slip. Ooh. <laughs> there we go, what do we got, what do we got? All right, so this one right here is going to be, looks as, oh, there's a case inside of here. Okay, I did not, I guess I never really looked at what was coming with this device. I probably should do my research, huh? So right here is gonna be the case. It's pretty flimsy, um, but I'm really glad there's a little bit of protection that comes straight off because I don't have any cases or accessories or screen protectors for the OnePlus 7 Pro. So anybody out there watching, uh, any case companies, any screen protector companies, uh, you know, hop out your boy right over here, send me over some screen protectors and some cases. I'll review them for you. Uh, and I also want to protect my beautiful phone. All right, so let's get this one. Oh, oh man, this feels nice. Man, it looks just like a, a Samsung phone on the very front. This one is all screen. Um, I heard something about the camera popping out, so I'm excited to check that out. Let's take off this little sticker. Ooh, there's a little bit of a gold tint when it comes down to this phone. Let's see if we can get a good angle. This looks like a good angle right there. Look at that beautiful phone right here let's see if i can get it up over there i have no idea what i'm looking at because i actually have the tv connected to my other camera but this is just beautiful and it's heavy but the one thing i am noticing is that this thing 
is tall. So if you have smaller hands or shorter hands, this is a very tall device. And I believe this one, is it taller than my, here, let's take off the Galaxy S10 Plus out of its case. So the OnePlus 7 Pro is thicker and longer. So if you can see on the very top, they look to be pretty even, but on the bottom, the OnePlus 7 Pro is longer. Here we go, let's get a little bit closer look as well. The OnePlus just has a little bit better design. I just kind of like this color too. Let's see, the very front. Well, they're just gonna look pretty similar. <laughs> but you can see how the OnePlus 7 Pro is just a little bit longer. Um, I don't believe it's as wide. It actually is just a little bit wider as well. So you are getting a bigger phone when it comes down to the OnePlus. Let's just see what it feels like with the case that it comes with. Okay, so this just feels normal. This just this just feels good. It actually is not bad at all. Uh, super excited and glad that inside of the case um, does come the little protection for you. So I don't know the drop on this one, probably more like uh, maybe what, 12 feet, 11 feet. Um, but let's go and let's actually place in the SIM card. Now their SIM card is on the bottom. Uh, so the place, but that looks nice. Look at how their SIM card is set up. That is just a nice SIM card slot. You know what, OnePlus, you, you are just a surprising little factor, aren't you? You, see this is just cheap and plastic. Come on Samsung, what are you doing? Now that's gonna be right next over to your Type C, so you'd be able to charge your device. You have your speaker grill on the bottom. The volume rocker, which is gonna be on the left side of the device, volume up, volume down. You also have your little slide that you'd be able to make it either uh, ring or vibrate or silent, and then your power button. So let's go through, we are going English. Let's go start, agree, agree, user experience program, I'm in. Now I can tell right away that when you actually use this phone, I'm setting up only my Gmail, and at this moment in time, I can already tell the refresh rate of the screen, the hertz of 90 hertz is so quick that it's just so fluid. And, and I believe when you look at the camera from up here, usually when I'm recording a video, you'll see lines kind of going down the camera from the pickup of the lens on top of here. Uh, and this one does not pick up any, any hertz from the screen flicker at all, which is fantastic. How to use the fingerprint. Okay, when the fingerprint pattern appears at the bottom of the screen, simply press with your finger on the fingerprint at an identification area. To use the fingerprint function, wake and unlock your phone, authorize purchases or sign in to applications. Now I read on the internet that this one for the fingerprint reader is as fast as 0.21 seconds, which is still really quick. That's half of half of a second, which is pretty sick. Okay, let's put in a backup screen method. So I'm gonna go with a pin. All right, confirm the pin, now let's set this up. Now this one is only going to be uh, the optical screen reader, so it won't be anything like uh, uh, the Galaxy S10 series or the Note 10, um, you know, which would have it being done with the ultrasonic, you know, sounds. Um, let's see here, the edge imprint, imprint. Okay, so let's go with the edges. Now I also do have the phone that sits on the table sometimes, and so I'm gonna go down and put in the fingerprint this way. So this one's all being done optically, which is being done by the light. So it's not being used or being done by uh, sound waves or anything like that. So this is really only just a 2D fingerprint, not a 3D fingerprint. So this one will be super quick and really fast and still effective, just not as safe as what would be done with a ultrasonic fingerprint reader uh, using sound waves. All right, so I'm setting over to continue, voice assistant next. So far, this is just an all around win, win, win device. So it's kind of, uh, as we're kind of going through here, wait, let's see here, anything else? Set up more things, change wallpaper, we'll do that later, no thanks. Um, so a few things that I am kind of seeing with this device in terms of the cons, which I did write down actually a few things, is that the first thing that you will be missing is that there is no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you will have to plug everything in through the very, you know, the, the port on the very bottom. Uh, and also it is very tall. There is no micro SD card slot, but it has a lot of internal storage. There's 256 gigs of internal storage. So you will not probably run out of space. There is no wireless charging, which I'm a huge fan of wireless charging. 
charging. Uh, I have my wireless charger right here. Uh, and in really in every other room inside of this entire house has a wireless charger. So that will be one thing I will be missing. Uh, and also I read that there, that the camera is really not that good. Um, I mean, it's good, but it's not the best. So that's really going to be the cons. Uh, so let's see here. Screen off gestures, turn on, off the flashlight, draw a V to turn on the flashlight. Sure. We'll try that. Double tap to wake. I love that feature. Open the camera. So draw an O to start camera and then music control. Trawl, uh, let's see, draw with two fingers to play music, draw you know, less than or greater than for previous and next track. So next or, or previous screen calibration. So we can go with vivid, go with natural, and we can go underneath advanced and we can change everything here. So display P3, we also have the sRGB, uh, but let's just go back to vivid. Uh, the Wonder Wonderful Wizard of Oz, chapter 11. Okay, what is this one? Oh, this is the font. Oh, that's just showing me. <laughs> I was like, is this giving me a Wizard of Oz movie? No, robotic one plus slate. So we're, we're gonna go with recommended. Let's go with what is recommended. Let's hit on next. And we are inside of the device, never settle. And I have just a small little vibration that just happened. I'm um, allowed one plus launcher, yes. Let's see. What is this? No hidden applications. Ooh, okay. So this one is gonna be the recent apps and this is back. So I'm gonna have to figure out if I can change that because um, I'm already opposite of where I am. So let's see, welcome to parking location, never settle. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of things that I have to go through here to play with and learn. Um, and it looks as if when you go inside of your application tray, so if you swipe up, um, this is gonna be your application tray. If you swipe it, um, from the very left hand side, it goes into all of your hidden applications. Uh, does it do anything from the right? No, it does not. Okay. Uh, can I do it from anywhere? Ooh, nice. Okay. So this is a launcher that I'm starting to love already. This is very similar to what Samsung is. doesn't really look like there's a lot of change that I'm going to do other than just the icons and then moving these icons on the very bottom. If I swipe up anywhere on the screen, it pulls me in my applications. If I swipe down anywhere on the screen, uh, then it's also going to pull down uh, my notifications on the very top. Uh, swiping over, it just looks like the never settle. This is just some information, writing memos. Um, it has like a toolbox right over here. So it has some tools. And then going to the right-hand side is just all the rest of the home screens. So now let's, how about we go through the rest of this box? What else comes inside of here? So this is going to be uh, the charging cable, which I'm going to ruin this plastic here. So it looks like inside the box, it's one that is a very small cable and it is rounded. So comparing this over into what I purchased, I am happy that I got this additional accessory because this one is thin, it's nice, and it's way longer uh, than what this one is showing right over here. All right. What else is left inside the box? So this one is going to be the warp charger. So is this one the same as this guy? So getting a closer look at the two wall plugs, looks like the output and input of both of these are the exact same, uh, as well as the sizes are the exact same. They both have the same indent. Everything is looking the exact same. So really, um, all I did was just get a extra wall mount to ensure the uh, the warp charge function throughout the entire house, since there is no wireless charging with it. And that's everything inside the box. So if you only get the OnePlus 7 Pro, you will get your cable, you will get your wall plug. It does put out the warp speed, uh, charging speed that you do want, but this cable is round. It's the same as everything else. Uh, it, it does have the beautiful red color. Uh, it is shorter than normal. So I would have to say, uh, if you have an option of choosing additional accessories, you do not need to get the wall plug, but if you want to definitely go and head over into that longer cable, which is 150 centimeters. So then this way you don't have to reach so far and you can still lay in bed without having to roll over and the buds, I still don't know if they're worth it yet because I have to test it. So that'll be coming up in a future video. And again, it is a type C straight plugin into the bottom of the device. All right, so now we can move some of these out of the way. Let's throw on the case just to give it a little bit more protection. And I do wanna check out, ooh, so the cutout. Okay, so that means it pops up. So it doesn't flip out, it pops up for the camera. Now let's click on the camera. 
Ooh, this is a three time optical zoom. So these trees here are very familiar when it comes also to the Samsung device. So when it comes down to the trees, you have the one tree, which is to basically zoom in. Uh, this one right here is to keep it at the normal lens. And you also have your ultra wide camera sensor. So right here, it actually pulls up quite a bit. How about we take a picture and then one more picture and one more picture. So those took some very snappy shots. Uh, let's go into this image. So this one is really looking directly at a light. It's never really gonna have you know the best shot. You also have this one and you have this one. So we're gonna go through and test out this camera. We'll, we'll, we'll take a good look at it. And you know what, now that I think about it with the camera, I have to flip it. All right, let's see, is it as easy as flipping the Samsung? No, it is not. So let's flip the camera. Woo! <laughs> she popped out. All right, let's put her back in. Oh! All right, let's get a closer look. Let's check it out. Ready? Here we go. Flip into the front. Oh! That's cool. And you can hear it. Let's see. Let me pull this in here. Let's see if you guys can hear this. You ready for it? Here we go. Let's test it out. Ooh, did it pick it up? Yeah! That is the little motor that is inside of there. All right, so. This one right here, what I was trying to say from before, is usually with the optical zoom, they're always a two time optical zoom. So it's not a digital zoom, you're not losing quality. Um, it is being done by the sensor and the lens itself. Um, and so this one is a three time optical zoom instead of a two time. So I'm pretty excited to check that one out. And then on the bottom of the device, you have your video, you also have photo, you have portrait. And I believe if you swipe up, you do have the faster way of going into a different shooting mode. You have time-lapse, pro, nightscape, panorama, slow motion, and settings. So if we pop over into settings, we have uh, a way to customize the modes. We have the ultra wide lens correction. So this way you're not gonna have that fishbowl effect in the very corners, especially if there's someone's head there. It's gonna definitely look a little weird. Uh, you can manually control the HDR control, smart content, content detection, support scene detection, and recognize email, phone number, credit card, QR code, website, and address from your camera preview, which is pretty sick. You also have the store location of the data if you need to uh, you know, keep where you took the image. You have the shutter sound, you have quick capture. Instantly take a photo after launching camera by double tapping the power button. So it instantly takes a photo after, okay. Let's test that out. So the power button, double click and it took the image. That is pretty handy. I'd have to say, definitely, definitely handy. Okay, let's go back into the settings. I wanna see what's there left. You have grid, always fun to check out. You can shot on one plus watermark. So if you wanna have a watermark be applied to the photos, uh, you are able to do that as well. You can have the mirrored photo. Uh, pro, you have histogram and horizontal reference line, which is pretty nice. Both of those are actually very nice. Um, so this is gonna be, a very fun device. And one thing I do wanna do is on the very top, um, I don't know if I wanna have that four by three. Um, I believe the one in the center is going to be a 16 by nine ratio uh, photo. So this right here was unboxing of the uh, OnePlus 7 Pro Almond Edition. And this is what it looks like with the case. Now I'm super excited to test this thing out. Uh, I'm very excited to also test out the battery life, the camera comparisons. Um, it states a 20 minute charge, you know, warp charger. So what does 20 minutes do? Does it give you 50% or does it give you the full entire charge? So that is gonna be one of the things I'll read up on as well as test it myself. Other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. Uh, this is really just me looking at the phone, experiencing it for the first time. Um, I haven't really done a lot of research on this device and so this is me getting the phone getting the hands on and then getting the research done as well as reading online and really just learning it and being a pro just like I am with the Samsung devices as well as the Pixel devices. So I have a lot of amazing devices to compare the OnePlus 7 Pro to. So other than that, Again, I hope you guys have liked this video. Hit on that like button. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe, that little red circle on the very bottom left-hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And if you want to keep up with my usage of this phone, follow me on Instagram as well as Twitter. Both of those is at Jimmy is promo. I'll put up some images. I'll probably give out some thoughts as well as some follow-up videos in comparing this phone. And one of the first things I do want to mention again, the second time that I picked this thing up or the eighth time that I just picked this up is that it is a hefty heavy 
device. Now let's talk about some of the goods that I've also written down from what I do know about this phone without doing really any other research. We already talked about the cons and the negatives. So let's first talk about it has the 90 hertz refresh rate screen. It is smooth, it's fluid, and looking right now on the screen um, from this camera, usually there's lines that pop down that the camera picks up because the refresh rate is different. So this one does not pick anything up. I'm super excited to shoot videos with the overhead camera so I don't get those lines going through it. Also, there's no notch, there's no hole punch on the top. Uh, if you wanna take a picture with your front facing camera, uh, you will be having your little camera pop out on the very top. Again, super excited to test that thing out. Um, you also have the warp charge of 30, uh, which I guess they say 20 minutes will give you something, and that's what we'll check out. Uh, the stereo speaker system that has a Snapdragon of 855, a 4,000 milliamp battery. Uh, mine has eight gigs of RAM, which is 256 gigs of internal storage as well the pop-out camera, and also the in-screen fingerprint reader, which has always been there as well. So again, I hope you guys like this video. Hit on that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit on that little red circle on the very bottom left-hand side. That gets you subscribed to the channel. And stay tuned for future videos where I keep on comparing and using and giving you my review and the usage of this device from the eyes of a Samsung user. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.